the beautiful sunshine and in the ring in a grotesque costume from Singapore, 231 pounds, the great Kabuki. This is the battle of the kicks. Rick Hazard, your referee. My goodness, the great Kabuki. What a wardrobe. The nunchucks. As I think tonight the big crowd is bringing out an even more dangerous great Kabuki than we have seen in recent weeks. Remember the man from the melting pot of sin? Only a little more civilized than he once was, as even the lovely sunshine has difficulty at times having to resort to the hair, pulling to controlling. Facing Chris Adams, this exciting standard rules wrestling bod will be a great chance for us to see who really has the best kick. We've been talking about this now for weeks. Is it a thrust kick from Chris Adams? Or rather, a super kick from Chris Adams or a thrust kick from the great Kabuki? As we watch Kabuki remove the bright colors. Chris Adams being booed as he shows off his upper body. The lovely sunshine in here, oriental wardrobe tonight, the purple with the gold. The green mist is sprayed into the convention center lights. Don't forget now, Chris Adams is one half of the American Tag Team Champion. As he and Gino Hernandez, the other half of the dynamic duo, won that belt just a week ago. Four belts represented by Adams and Hernandez. American heavyweight belt, Texas heavyweight belt, and the American tag team title. Two belts, actually. Here we go now, the great Kabuki and Chris Adams. And immediately it's Adams wanting to move in with a kick. Certainly not the super kicks, but he was kicking Kabuki away. The crowd already on the edge of their seats and only our second bus. Chris Adams being very careful. You know, Adams has to face the cold hard fact that his ego gets shattered if and when he ever loses especially in a bout that has received as much hype as this one has. And deservingly so. Adams tried to kick. Kabuki has grabbed it. Look out. There it is. Got him with the toe of the shoe on the back of the neck. Adams may have even set Kabuki up that way. We'll never know for sure. Here's Adams now down on his knees. Gary Hart with Mark Lewin moving in. We'll see him Monday. He's already talking about world six-man title shot coming right up. It'll be his first shot. Wouldn't it be something if when we hear from him next, they are champion. There's Sunshine. Band standing go, Kabuki go. Sunshine a little bit apprehensive about this event. Kabuki spins with a reverse thrust kick and takes Adams completely down. We've already mentioned tonight that Mike Von Erich will be returning after a long absence due to the shoulder injury sustained in Detroit, Michigan. Mike will be, of course, being the Von Erich that he is, stepping into the ring against none other than the man that he was involved with when the injury took place, Killer Tim Brooks. Over and down goes Adams. Kabuki tries to get a pin, but Adams immediately gets one shoulder up. Mike Von Erich stepping right back into the frying pan of the Sportatorium Friday night when he faces Killer Brooks and one of several great sportatorium bouts. I mentioned you folks tonight in other areas hearing of news. Next week's fans include DeSoto, Mejia, Temple, Ulysses, Wally, Palestine, and we'll have some news either tonight or coming up shortly about Clarksville where we had a rain out. World-class championship wrestling, the number one fundraiser for nonprofit organizations. Coming to you tonight from the convention center as Kabuki hits the ropes a couple of times, returns, Adams is there, but Kabuki pulls him over with a mere side move over the hip. Twice now, and Adams is down. 
We've already shown you once tonight the red Corvette being guarded heavily in a secluded area of the convention center. Our cameras are there. We'll be showing you again a shot of that car sometime during the next few minutes. Whenever we get a spot in our telecast, we'll sneak back there and see what's going on. Rick has the officiating. He's right there. We've already seen a super kick. We've seen a thrust kick. Adams wants leg scissors, but Kabuki puts the legs back down. The maniac Mark Lewin, who has been unable to wrestle in the United States due to the fact that he can't stay out of trouble. Problems with society. Gary Hart feels that he's got the proper restraints on him, has pulled the strings to get him into the country, and we will see him this week, Monday and Friday. Kabuki thrown to the ropes, comes back. Adams with a shoulder butt goes down. Leaps across, Kabuki stops, surprises Adams with an elbow. And Sunshine is ecstatic, raising her fist in the air with a smile. Over and down, but it's leg scissors now by Adams locking Kabuki up. Now I mentioned tonight that we'll be showing you the Coronet Sunshine demonstration. I hope to get all of that on the show tonight. If we cannot, we'll continue taping and have it for you next week. It just depends on how things go. There's Sunshine keeping this mob roaring. Every time I look up, more people are pouring into the convention center. This certainly is going to be the largest crowd we've ever had for wrestling in Fort Worth. There are not more than a few hundred empty seats. And like I say, they're still coming in. Five minutes. Joe Rinelli with a five-minute call. Don't forget the sensational main event, Von Erich versus the dynamic duo, coming to you right here tonight. It's an either-or situation. Somebody is going to win because there's no disqualification, must be a winner. The Von Erichs have the equipment here to literally destroy the Corvette as Adams tries to destroy the Kabuki's head with those leg scissors. But then again, if the dynamic duo wins, they are in the driver's seat, as not only will the car not be smashed, but they get any stipulation they want, and Gino has promised me that it is something never before seen in wrestling as Kabuki backs Adams away and now pulls him over. Sunshine right on top of the action. She is upset with the tactics of Chris Adams, complaining about hair. You know, whenever you're in the midst of an exciting extravaganza like this, you think of the big cards of the past, Texas Stadium, Reunion Arena, and you think of what is coming as we look forward to Labor Day, the Cotton Bowl sometime during the State Fair, as world-class championship wrestling continues to bring you the best that professional sports and pro wrestling have to offer. The intensity shown on his face is Kabuki now. Tried to score a point, but Adams quickly responds with the leg scissors. Big lumberjack bout coming up at the Sportatorium. We have so much to talk about. I want to get it all in, but I don't want to detract for even a second from the sensational main event action we're seeing, as nearly every bout tonight is a main event. Adams holding on to an arm while he has the leg scissors on Kabuki. Want to give credit to Q102 Radio. They're covering the action. Don't forget, every Tuesday morning, you can hear a, an exclusive interview and a wrestling report on Cliff 1190 AM. There's Kabuki backing Adams into the corner. Adams stands with a diving body press, but Kabuki got out of the way. And now he is spinning. Parts the hair from his face, comes back over and grabs his opponent, throws him to the ropes. Far side now, back he comes over and down. Kabuki spinning the green slime coming from his mouth, a cross for the plus kick. And Adams goes over the rope. One table hits the floor. One of our ringside tables has cratered as Adams came feet first over that rope. The big thrust kick sending Adams over. 
There is no DQ here as he was not thrown over the rope, which causes the DQ. He was kicked and went over. So the bout continues. Adams crawling back on the fallen table. Now to the apron. There's a chop. This crowd loves it. The double-fisted chops, one from above, one from below, coming from Kabuki. And Adams went down, but he grabbed Kabuki by his own tight and threw him through the ropes to the floor. He's out on that table that's falling. Sunshine right there, look out. The table is down, chairs are down. I may have to leave you if they come this way. Kabuki jammed into that wooden table. Like I've told you in the weeks before, something about this convention center brings out the wildest and the worst in all individuals. And we're seeing it now. Action in the convention center is unparalleled. Listen to this crowd. Super kick and Kabuki's right back out and the table is actually breaking in half. Get a shot of the table. You can see it splitting and breaking in two. Boy, a splitter in a back could be very dangerous. Here's Adams now. This is getting out of hand. Now where are they going? Sunshine running. Into the post, that's Adam's throne. Adams down on the cement. Kabuki crawling back to the ring. Groggy, slowly moving back. Kabuki spins with another thrust kick. And this bout is even more than we ever imagined. From the ropes. A chop. Adams back in the ropes. Thrown this way. Here's the kick that knocks Kabuki off his feet. There's only three minutes remaining. Only three minutes remaining as Chris Adams has revived himself and is on top of Kabuki with the stomp. A pile driver, look out. You know how we feel about that. A pin. Another pin. Sunshine, what was she doing? Now Adams is after her. Look out. There's a kick, Kabuki saw him coming. The convention center roars and three. And the winner of the Battle of the Kicks, the Great Kabuki! The Great Kabuki! Look out, we're not through! The Great Kabuki has won, but Chris Adams now has got sunshine, my goodness! No, please don't! Now it's Hazard thrown away! Sunshine has actually thrown sunshine! Now he's dragging her back! Adams now sees Kabuki and leaves her alone, thank goodness. 